So suppose we have this situation where uh, we have a linked list with five elements, so one, one, three, six, seven, but at the end, instead of having a null pointer, this guy actually points to a node from inside the list. This is what we call a cycle inside our linked list. So as you can see, this guy just kind of cycles around and around and around. And if you were to iterate this type of uh, linked list, you, were, you will never get to the end of it, right? It will just continue to move forward and forward. Now, what we want is before iterating such a linked list is to check, check if there's such a loop. And if there's a loop like this, to not iterate it, of course, because if we do, we are going to just end in an infinite loop. So there is an algorithm for that. that is very, very, very simple and it works all the time. And that is to first get yourself two pointers, right? I'm going to actually get a green and a red marker here to denote those pointers, right? And then first initialize them to be at the root. Right? So I'm going to have here the green pointer and the red pointer. Nice. Now, they are going to iterate over the linked list, but they're going to iterate at different speeds while the red pointer is going to go one step at a time, right? Simple, just red pointer equals red pointer arrow next. So that's the usual. The green pointer is going to iterate at double the speed. So it's going to say green pointer equals green pointer arrow next arrow next, right? So it's going to go from one to three to seven and so on and so forth. What we have to check every single time they iterate is if they are the same, if they are pointing to the same node, at any point in time, well, besides the beginning, that means that we have a loop because, well, the logic is simple here. If the list doesn't have any loops, then the green pointer is going to iterate over the list very, very, very fast. And the red pointer is going to be, well, basically at the half, half of the list and they should never meet. Make sense? I hope so. Okay, so if you have a cycle like this, let's try to let's try to uh, use the algorithm here. So first, the green pointer is going to go uh, two steps. So it's going to go not to here, but to here. So it's going to point to this guy. Nice. Then the red pointer is going to point to the next uh, node. That's simple. Then the green pointer is going to go over two nodes. So it's going to point to seven. Then the red node is going to go to three now. Now they are here and here, so they are pointing to two different nodes. It's fine. We can still iterate. The green node is going to go from seven to what's the next node? Well, the next node is one and the next after that is three. So it's going to point to three. And the red node is also going to iterate over three. So we're going to go to six. Okay. So uh, now the green pointer is at three and the red pointer is at six respectively. Okay, that's fine. Then the green pointer comes along and jumps over six, so it goes to seven. Okay, so that's fine. But after the red pointer comes along and jumps to seven, they are both in the same place after an exact number of moves, moves for every single one of them, right? So if we encounter such a situation where they are both in the same place, we can just say that the list has at least a cycle, right? So we cannot really iterate it. So I have here the linked list in the example. So a one, one, three, six, seven, and now seven doesn't point to anything. So if I run this, it's fine, right? But if I set it to point to something, just like so. If I try to run this, you'll notice this keeps on going forever and ever and ever, and it never stops. What I did here, well, if you count the number of next, you're gonna figure it out, but basically you have root, right? Which is one. So root arrow next is one again, the second one. Then root arrow next is three. Then root arrow next three times is six. And then root arrow next four times is seven. And we want to set the next pointer for seven, which was null before, to be the second one. And the second one is root arrow next. So that's the logic behind this. All right, so now we need to detect this before iterating, because as you can see, we're just ending in an infinite loop and we never get out of it. So let's create here a function called int has loops. So if has loops and I want 
since we're not changing anything, I don't want a double pointer to root. We just need a simple pointer to root. That's fine. Right, and if that's null, that's null, that's so be it. So as I said, we're first gonna start with the two pointers that are both gonna point to root. So we have here node pointer. I'm gonna call it slow, the red guy, because the red guy was the slowest one, just uh, iterating over every single element of the list. Right. So the guy that's slow is going to be, again, root, and the green guy I'm gonna call it fast, because that guy iterates at double the speed as a slow uh, pointer. And that's also going to start at root. Now we should have a while loop, of course, with an exit condition that I'm going to get to after we get to the iteration. What's the iteration for the while loop? Well, as I said, first, the slow guy moves one, uh, one node forward. So slow equals slow arrow next. Nice. OK, that's fine. Then the fast guy moves two nodes forward. So fast equals fast arrow next. That's just one node forward. And that's two nodes forward. So you get this guy. Now, after all this, what we do have to check is if they are the same. So after we moved both of them once, we have to check every single time if they are the same. So if slow is pointing to the same address as fast they are pointing to the same node we know we have an uh, we, we know we have a loop inside our linked list so we can simply say return one meaning return true now for the while uh, condition what should we say here well we don't want to iterate uh, forward if we don't have where to iterate to so if slow is null then we can't iterate anymore. Same happens with fast. So if fast is null, we cannot go any further. So, and fast is not null. But there's a simple catch. If the linked list look like this without the cycle itself, we would have a problem if the fast pointer would be at seven. And since it's not null, we kind of let it iterate, but, uh, what does the line that iterates do actually? It, it goes to the next node and also uh, skips over it. But after seven, there's no more nodes. So fast arrow next is null. And if you do arrow next of null, you're gonna get a an error and it's just going to crash. So you're gonna have to check if fast arrow next is not null, just like so. So now in this case, if the if the loop finishes normally, so if we did get at a null pointer somewhere in the path or either the slow or the fast pointer, probably the fast pointer because that guy iterates at double the speed, then we can simply return zero. And that is all there is to this algorithm. So now if I, for example, say if has loops of root equals to one, let's say, and if that is true, what I want to do is print f linked list has a loop and a backslash n here and a return one because I don't want to get to iteration because there's no point. We're just never going to get out of it. So now if I run this, you'll notice we get linked list has a loop. So our algorithm did work. So I hope this makes sense. It's a very simple algorithm and I saw many people ask about this uh, sort of question. It's like it's not very obvious at first if you didn't research a little bit on the internet about it. So I hope this was useful and uh, hope you learned something out of it. If you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.